they brought his casket to City Hall and called for accountability. Jordell Richardson's family is calling on Aurora police to release all the video they have of the shooting of the 14 year old boy. The family and faith leaders and community activists held a short memorial and rally on the steps of the Aurora Municipal Center. And then they marched right up Alameda, escorting the hearse carrying Jordell's remains. Nine News reporter Steve Staker followed along with that march. Steve, we have a peaceful procession tonight. It certainly was, Kyle. In fact, this was a very well-organized demonstration. They had volunteers all along the way to make sure that cars didn't interfere with the folks who were marching up Alameda. This large crowd, they had a message. They were upset with Aurora's interim police chief, claiming that he withheld information about this case for a long time. And the large group certainly made a very powerful statement. Clearly, the sky is crying today. Uh, for Jordell. A rainy Friday evening couldn't keep the crowd away. I thank everybody for showing love to my brother. It means a lot. On the steps of the city that employs the man who killed their son, 14 year old Jordell Richardson's family mourned. I won't get to see him graduate high school, go to prom, start his own family, because a police officer felt like he gave my son his the sentence he wanted him to have and he took him from me and called for accountability. I just want to say that I don't care what my brother did. That didn't give you the right to shoot him at all. There is no justice. I hear you shouting you want justice, but we will not get justice. Justice is Jordell walking through his mother's front door. An Aurora officer shot Richardson on June 1st after a robbery at a liquor store. Body camera video released by police doesn't show whether Richardson had his hand on a weapon at the time of the shooting. And it took Aurora Police Chief Art Acevedo eight days to reveal the weapon he was carrying was a pellet gun. I know you tried to be transparent. We're here to say you failed. You failed this family. You failed Jordale. You failed this community. After a memorial and rally in the rain, the large crowd of family and people who didn't even know the 14 year old marched. They marched beside the hearse carrying Jordell's casket up Alameda and back. A clear sign a community wants more. Jordell deserved better. Well, the family is calling on Aurora police and anyone investigating this shooting to release all of the video from the shooting. They want to see every different angle to see what actually happened through the course of this. The 18th Judicial District has a critical response team that's looking at this shooting, investigating it. The officer involved in the shooting on paid administrative leave until then. And also the Aurora Police Department has launched an internal affairs investigation into this shooting. We're in Aurora. Steve Steger, 9 News. Steve, it really seems like Interim Chief Acevedo's handling of the situation, the way that he has talked about it in public, some of the phrases that he's used, has actively inflamed the situation, made a, made a bad situation yeah. worse, it seems. Yeah, there were calls on the steps here today for Ch Interim Chief Art Acevedo to resign because of this. Uh, the attorney for the family stepped in front of the crowd, said he owes this family an apology. He owes this family all the information about this case because of the way it was handled from the beginning. And then he went one step further and said the chief should resign. Steve Steger reporting from Aurora. Thank you, Steve.